Hello and welcome to part three of this CrossCMS tutorial series. So in this video, we're going to cover adding static assets to your template. So this is stuff like style sheets, JavaScript files, and images. So let's get started. So if we look at the website in the editor, this is our public directory where we can serve public files like JavaScript files or CSS files. So let's go in here and create a new directory, a new folder, and we'll call it assets. You can call this anything you want, but we'll just call it assets. Now in this, we can have a new file. Let's add a new file called style.css. Okay, and let's just create a few basic styles here. and a little background color. All right, so let's save this and let's go to our template file here and we'll create a new link tag here and I'll use this short code here to create a style sheet link. And there's a global variable available to you in CraftCMS called site URL. And that will just output the site's base URL. So if we go to the browser, that will be this. So instead of having to type it manually in the template, we can use this variable. So we also want to get into the assets folder we just created. So we'll type assets slash, and that will get to our style sheet. So let's go back to the browser and refresh. And there we have a basic style sheet loaded up. All right, so now let's add a JavaScript file doing the same exact thing. We'll create a new file in our assets directory and call it script.js. And just for testing purposes, let's do a console.log testing and save that. And let's go back to our template and add it down here. So again, we'll use the site URL variable and then go into assets and then script.js. And we'll go back to the browser Let's open up the console and refresh our page. And there we go, we're loading a JavaScript file in our template. So now let's add a static image. This is gonna be different than images that users can upload through the editor, but these might be design related images like the logo of your website, for example. So let's go to a finder window and look at the project. We'll go into the web directory and then into assets, and maybe we'll create a new folder called images. We could have done this through Visual Studio Code, but I just wanted to do it here so I could drag this logo over. So I'll put this in here, and let's go back to the editor, and we can see we have images and our logo. So just like we did for the style sheet and the script file, we will simply do a new image tag, and then we'll use site URL, Slash, uh, assets slash images slash craft.svg. And I'll just give it an alt attribute. Save that, go back to the browser and refresh. And we have a giant logo, so let's fix that. And there we go, we're loading a static image into our template. So that's all I wanted to cover for this video. Thanks for watching.